Oh, Jack Alardi at ICM recommended uh, Telly Savalas to you, but how did you get like Burgess Meredith, Robert Vaughn, uh, John Marley, Ivan Dixon? I mean, the cast is, the cast is incredible. I mean, especially for like, you know, your debut big production. It's like, I mean, it's not your debut big production. You produced Hell's Angel 69, but you know what I mean. This has a level of actors in it that are a lot bigger. You know? Yeah, but you know, once you got uh, Savalas to play the lead, then everybody else believed you. You know, they all fell into place, kind of. And all the parts were pretty good parts. Sure. And those guys are character leads. They they don't they don't co co cover a movie, but when you put them all together, it's pretty formidable cast. Hell yeah, it's a great Hell ensemble yeah. piece. Everybody knew what they were doing. You know, you you knew that, so you didn't have to worry about them knowing their lines or coming prepared or being drunk or any of that kind of crap. You know. Uh, Savalas is smooth as fuck in it, just like always. I mean, he's just, yeah. he's floating through the movie like, you know, like, like, <laughs> like, exactly. I mean, like it's like effortless. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's just, you know. All of them treated the movie like it was like, a, you know, piece of cake. I'm just gonna go get paid. I was wondering about like Burgess Meredith, you know, he's never played a role like that before. He's a welder, he's smoking weed, he's playing grab ass, he's driving dune buggies around. I was, just, which is so awesome, but like, I was wondering what he thought of the material and what he thought of the character. Cause he's never, I've never seen him play anything like that before. No, he never did. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's why I think he did it. Yeah. You know, he didn't care. He didn't really care about how big the movie was or how small the movie was. It, he just went there to get paid and do this crazy fuck, and he was incredible. He steals every scene he's in, pretty much. I mean, he's great in every scene he's in. You know, I mean, he's like the first. He was the first guy I ever directed. Oh yeah, during the welding scene, right? Yeah, first, first scene. Him. Yeah, first scene I ever directed was the welding scene, and he fucked up about three or four times in a row on purpose. <laughs> That's great. Just to That's fuck so over me. This is my first day. <laughs> you know, so finally I said to him, you fuck. Get it right. <laughs> Stop fucking around. He was he hazing you. He laughed his ass off then. Just hazing you a little bit, huh? Yeah. Cool. Okay, let's go. He's the uh, best. I mean, he's the best. He doesn't Oh, uh, I love him, man. Yeah. He was just fabulous. Like, he just seems like such a sweet guy. Who, whose idea was it to put him in a poncho? Because he looked... <laughs> <laughs> that was great awesome. in a poncho. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's a better choice than... than You're asking that. me, and I don't even remember yesterday. <laughs> You're asking me about a fucking poncho. He was in a movie with Mimi Van Doren. He doesn't even remember that. <laughs> <laughs> if I don't remember kissing Mimi Van Doren, you know you got a problem. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, that's too funny. That's too funny. I, I love when you're riding around in the dune buggy with, with oh, him. Because yeah. he's driving. It's clearly him driving. Like, it's not a oh, stuntman. Yeah. And I was, like, thinking, man, to be in a dune buggy, Burgess Meredith driving me around on Hollywood must have been so cool. Must have been the coolest thing. Oh, it's great. <laughs> you know, so Anytime bad. I could get with him that was terrific he was a great guy yeah, i just right. didn't have enough i didn't i didn't have any more for him to do or i, I would have done it yeah, yeah. <laughs> how does the world look to you how you fought for i don't know man i'm expecting too much i think you know it's really tough to get into you know i can really dig walking on sidewalks don't blow up in your face uh -huh. or a little air that doesn't smell a like gun smoke but I don't know, Freedom, man. I, I can't figure out what the hell's going on. I mean, why is everyone so uptight? Well, I don't know. They've thrown away the things that really made them free. Now they need them again. They can't find them.